Okay, so we're welcome back to the log two for the Spyro Diary. Um, I'm a little bit further since the last time we played, so I've kind of gotten a, gotten the hang of some of the controls here. Played a little bit more, um, learned a little bit more about the game too, so it's pretty cool. But just back at it, still uh, just going around collecting all the uh, dragons that were turned into stone. I guess is what happened to them. But uh, just still doing that, so. Finally met a variety of enemies here. Um, like those dudes needed to be hit by uh, headbutted instead of just hit by fire and stuff like that. So it makes it a bit nicer. More variety is always fun. Let's see what this dude up here's got going for us. Uh, there we go. Looks kind of like uh, Earl from Toe Jam and Earl for the Sega Genesis if you ever played that game. Oh, yeah. I was just getting my butt handed to me. I got him. This is retarded. <laughs> uh, and actually that was retarded. So that's something I've actually come to notice I really don't like about the game. It, It's too... I don't know, loose, I guess, in the control. You could just, uh take a beating like from uh, the controls itself it's not really like the game is hard it's just uh, I don't know like like you you think you're going somewhere I guess the platforming's off or something like that but I mean it's still it's still good and responsive but it could be kind of frustrating at, at times like this where you know I'm trying I'm trying to be accurate and get close to this dude but he just keeps whacking me you know no matter what I do so yeah I definitely don't like that but. So, I mean, like, look at that. Like, how am I going to get away from him? retarded. I mean, look at that. Good lord. I mean, I can't turn around fast enough. So, it's, it's frustrating. <clears throat> oh yeah, if you get hit too many times, your little dragonfly guy, like, changes color. And then eventually, uh, when I'm on my last hit, he's gone. And so he's not there to pick up your, uh, your, your gems, I guess you can call them. So, that's another death. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been frustrating to have to play through it like this, just because there's just, I don't know, it, 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 I don't really, don't really want to say it's lack of challenge, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of easiness to the game and just collecting and finding the dragons and then, uh, you know, they throw in, like, a boss character that's really, you just have to learn his patterns and, you know, there's no other way to get around it, so you're just going to take a beating until you beat him which is a very old mechanic, you know, it's something you see in um, like old PS1 games like this, and you know, maybe even older for uh, uh, like, a, like a Super Nintendo title or something. So, you know, you just have to 
play around it, I guess. But see, I mean, like, you can't hit him because he has that metal thing on, so it makes it a bit tough to do anything. Yeah, if you have the key to each level, you can uh, drop it in there and uh, unlock this chest, which is pretty much just the last uh, um, what are they called? Gems for each stage. So if you're trying to get every gem for the stage, uh, you need to go uh, find the key, which is just hidden through each level, and then it unlocks the, the pathway to the uh, treasure chest in just that level. So, uh, you know, your, your exploration doesn't go by unrewarded. You know, I was actually out um, visiting a friend this past week, and I went to a used game store, and they had a copy of Spyro Season of Ice, I'm looking at it right down there, uh, for the Game Boy Advance, uh, still, in, uh, still in its packaging. Um, you know, it's been open, but it came with a perfectly fine case, and missing the instructions, but it's not very often you see something like that, so it was pretty cool to be able to uh, find that game. Um, it's supposed to be really good for the Game Boy Advance, so we'll see how that one goes. These are kind of cool. They actually like burn up. So these dudes try to go in there when they want to get away from you, except this one always goes to the cannon. But it's cool. You can actually push it and fire it if you shoot your... Woo! Um, I'm actually not sure where I need to go from here, because... I can't tell where I need to go. Doesn't see like I, I know I need to get over to the right, but I just can't find a way over there. So we'll see. I mean, I'll kill these dudes again. Bam. So I know I need to get over there, but I can't get in there. Like, I don't know if I need to shoot this cannon somewhere. Um, because I don't think I can actually make it. Like, to anything like this, because I'll just fall in here and... You sort of, you sort of take, take hits each time, and, uh, so then you die. So maybe maybe you're supposed to do that, but I really doubt it that that's the actual way to get to the next level, so Spyro's a doofus. Bam! Yeah, so... I don't know how to get over there. Um, I'm gonna assume that I'm just supposed to come back here later. And just go to the next stage. This little balloonist here should take me. Gosnold. Oh, no, I'm ready. <laughs> just burn that up, that's why I wasn't ready. So these kind of act as uh, your gateways to the other parts of the uh, other worlds that hub other levels. So you need to hop on balloons or magical carpets or flights to get to the other worlds, which is where other levels are. And then uh, each one should should be able to take you to the other one. See, like I came back here to where we started. Um, so if you need to go back, um, you know that option's there. I don't actually know why I went here. I didn't mean to. So we'll just go to the next stage.
Hmm. Yeah, so strangely enough, the newest Spyro game uh, just came out this week uh, for the Wii and Xbox, I think it's all it's for, the uh, Skylanders is the name of the series, and I have no idea what it has to do with Spyro, but I know he, oh shit, I know he's in it, so that's good at least, but, um, back here. Ah, oh, poop. But, um, I think it's neat because it uses those toys you kind of incorporate into uh, your character creation or however you do it. But Welcome it's pretty cool. Nice to see that he's still around. And uh, I mean, the games don't get as much uh, praise as this game and its, you know, subsequent sequels. But uh, it's, it's good to see a character still try something new. And it looks like Skylanders is doing good, so... I'm trying to think. I, I think I read on Penny Arcade that they are comparing the game to uh, be essentially uh, League of Legends for kids, which is cool. I mean, viable device for a game, so why not focus it on kids? And look at Spyro, he's just so adorable. Let me get that little dude. So I don't know what the purpose is of these guys, but whenever you they, whenever you find them, you chase them, and then you have to chase them with the square button and shoot your fire, and you get close with the circle, um, and then they give you that egg, and I don't know what the egg does. It just sort of stays on the screen. See, like, there it is. I have the egg for this world. I'm missing one of them. But, yeah, I don't know what the purpose is. I mean, sometimes in levels, in order to get to other worlds, you have to have so many... Oh, that wasn't expected. You have to have so many um, uh, dragons rescued or so many of these, like, gems. So maybe one of the worlds is you have to have so many of those silly eggs. But uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they're just something else to collect. So we'll go in here. Alpine Ridge. You know, all the collecting reminds me of, uh, the big dude. Um, ouch. Oh, wow, that was dumb. Oh. Oh, look at the bottom of the level here. Just keep on gliding, and then I died. <laughs> but all the collecting reminds me of, um, uh, Donkey Kong Country for the Nintendo 64, where there's just a crap load of things to collect over and over again. And uh, that's kind of frustrating because there's so many different things to get a hold of that you think you're doing a good job, but you're really just collecting something you don't need. But at least this game doesn't have that problem. It seems like everything is relevant, and it's really just gems and uh, life points, and then the dragons, which is like you know stars in Mario 64 or something like that. So that works. I wish you could like lock onto those. It makes it so much easier. And lock on is a thing of the future, apparently. Spyro, yeah. you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. I didn't think so. <laughs> oh my, no. This was completely pointless. Mm, as far as 3D platformers go, you know, this really isn't that bad. Um, the game handles well, all things considered, and when this is, you know, one of the first times you see uh, 3D platformers outside of uh, Mario, um, you know, the game does good. People talk about it for a reason. It's a, a well-known title, and it, it actually has been pretty fun. I, I think part of the reason it's been fun is because there's nothing about it that's really, really, really frustrating. Everything works the way you think it should, and that's good. That's that's how it should be. 
Um, the flying is fun. Uh, collecting isn't, you know, as tedious as it could be. You know, collecting is always tedious. But um, it's cool, and the variety of levels uh, make it worthwhile to keep exploring and seeing what else there is. So, uh, um, this world seems to be like a magical themed world. The one before it was more uh, deserty and sandy, but even that world had its cool little quirks, like um, the guns that you could fire in the levels, or um, more like Egyptian ruins is how the level was like, you know, designed. So it, it, it's all it's all pretty cool, and that's that's what makes it fun. That's what makes a game like Mario 64, you know, such a classic that it it, it can stand the test of time. That it's so good, and uh, I can see why Spyro is considered to be a similar game, because it. it you know, still looks pretty good. I mean, Spyro's a big character. He looks, you know, cute and fun. Uh, the worlds are big. They're not just flat. They're relatively detailed for the PS1, and the game's fun. Uh, so that, that's why it's that's why it's more me. of a classic. And there's dragons. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't expect dragons to say much, but I but assume they say a little bit more than stuff like that. But whatever. They're dragons. Ugh. Oh, that's one thing too I like about games when you can, um, when the game kind of does stuff when you're not doing anything, like how you know you have like the idle animation here. That's kind of funny. Or when you like run into a wall, you know he actually falls back. He doesn't just keep running. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Um, also, things like that where the sparks or the flame leave marks on the walls. Um, if there was a like chicken, you know you fry the chicken. And uh, you you can kill it or f for some reason turn into a butterfly, but fun things like that make a game more of a game, and that's that that's that's really fun. Don't think I can get this tree now. There was another tree that's it was a lot smaller, and you could actually <laughs> shoot it with your flame, and then all the the leaves just burnt up. So that's kind of cool. Work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter world. Oh my word! Oh, cool. I can probably get over there from here. Let's go here. I think that's the start, actually. So we'll go this way. Remember Bam, that called it. Blue thieve haven't stolen eggs only Kelvin. The magic world. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. <clears throat> Still don't know how many dragons there are to get. Um, never actually said. I mean, no, none of the dragons you free actually says anything useful, like, 25 more to go! You know, they just sort of say stupid things that don't matter. What is that? Oh, can't get there yet. Let's get this dude! He's gonna run away, isn't he? There we go. Second egg. I'm sure one of the gates to get to the next level is you need so many eggs, so might as well just get them all. I think I do have them all. Okay. So I got all of the dragons, but not all the little gems, but I think I'm okay. I'm probably going to leave here. Save my game real quick.
Look at Spyro looking all happy and jovial. Alrighty. Seem too easy. You see arrows like these, you can charge. Oops, I guess you can cancel their pointless speeches. Bam, bam. Oh, cool. Kind of caught on fire there. Alright, well, get this last dragon here and I'll stop today's log. Uh, it's been pretty fun, so I wish I knew kind of how far I was through the entire game, but I'll look it up online and see uh, how many dragons there are for the game or whatever until I know when I'm done. But until then, uh, take it easy.